make the bookmark, you're going to need some sort of paper. You could use regular drawing paper or computer paper, or you could use construction paper. You're also going to need something to decorate your bookmark with. I'm using some markers, but you could also use acrylic paint or watercolor or anything you like. Now I need to cut the paper into small strips so I can decorate them. So I folded my paper into fourths, and now I'm just going to cut along one of the lines. Once you finish decorating your bookmark, you can leave it at this or you can laminate it. I'm going to show you a method you can use to laminate it if you don't have a machine. To laminate your bookmark, you're going to need a bookmark and a Ziploc bag and a knife and a candle or something you can light up. So you're going to start by placing your bookmark into the Ziploc bag. Once the bookmark is in the bag, push it all the way to the edge of the bag so that it lines up with one of the corners. And now you're going to light up your candle. Now you're going to use the candle to carefully heat up the end of the knife and hold it over for a few seconds and make sure to move it so that um, all of the end gets heated. Now you're going to carefully use the knife to cut the bag. This is how my bookmark turned out after laminating it and I used the same technique on another one and this is how they turned out. If you don't want to laminate your own bookmark you can get one of these clear bookmark covers which are just plastic cases that open up so you can slip in a piece of paper like this. And then you can tape it close so it doesn't fall out. Also, special thanks to my friend Haley for suggesting this bookmark idea. She actually wrote a whole letter to me for this challenge and gave me this bookmark case. I'll leave more information about the challenge in the description if you want to try it out yourself. So thank you, Haley. Now let's get back to the video. Next idea is to paint a mug. So start with an old mug that you have. I'm using this one. I started by sanding the mug and now I'm just painting it white. I was able to scrape off most of the paint that had gotten on the inside of the mug. So now I'm using some masking tape and I made some markings on the edge of the mug using a ruler and a pencil and I'm going to tape on that line so that I can paint it with a black paint. So I touched up the black paint and added a gold stripe across the top and added a Chanel logo, and this is how it looks. So for this hack, we need to remove the film from a CD. So in order to do that, I'm going to be using some tape. So I'm going to place the clear tape on an area I want to remove the film from and press down really hard then peel to remove the film. Once you remove all the film from your CD, it should look something like this and it'll be nice and clear. So now it's time to paint and customize this.
this idea, I'm going to show you how to make your own DIY tray out of a canvas. It's super simple and super easy. This is one of the trays I made using this hack, but I'm going to be making a different one in this video. To make the tray, you need a canvas. I'm using this canvas. The reason I'm using this canvas is because it was for a paint pouring attempt, but it's all lumpy now, so I can't paint over it. And you are going to get an X-Acto knife and cut it so that you are left with the wooden frame. So now I need to create the bottom of the tray. So I'm going to be using a cardboard, but you could use a wooden box or a lid if you wanted to. Now I am painting the tray and I'm starting with the wood and I'm using a pink colored stain for this. So I'm applying it with a paintbrush and then wiping it away with the paper towel to leave some of the wood grain behind. So once I finish that I'm going to work on the base. So this is how the tray is looking. So now I'm going to paint the base and I'm going to paint it blue. By the way, I did remove the poster board that I glued on earlier. For this idea, you're going to be using the scrap canvas from the tray project. So find a large piece that you can cut. So I'm going to be using this area because it's pretty blank and it doesn't have a whole lot of rips in it except for that. But I can cut that off. Now I'm going to take some masking tape and just use it to create a border around the edge of the canvas. So now my canvas is all taped down and I'm ready to paint a picture. Now I have to peel off the tape border around my painting. So this is how my painting turned out. Leave a comment down below what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave it a big thumbs up. And if you try out any of these crafts, make sure to use the hashtag MMSummerProjects so I can see it. And that's it for today. Bye!